Well, we've got a range of uh, fitness tests that we operate as part of our uh, national standards. We have a set protocol of, of testing that we use around the states and uh, with, our, uh, with our national team players. We've, we've been in a pretty dense uh, period of competition, so a lot of our uh, training is, is actually more around um, uh, maintenance of their strength and conditioning. Uh, we've actually got a bit of a period now where we can actually uh, improve, look to improve uh, some of those areas, so uh, that's part of what the fitness testing uh, now is all about, so uh, we'll get a bit of an idea of where the guys are at and then, uh, and then set their programs accordingly. This morning the boys uh, had the yo-yo uh, 20 metre, um, vertical jump, skin folds, all that sort of thing, and then uh, now that we're in here we're doing the strength and stuff like that, and so Michael Clark's leading the way with all that sort of thing at the moment, he's doing very well. It starts off quite easily, you think you're going alright, but then it sort of catches up with you and you're definitely blowing a bit when you get to the end. But I think it's a personal best for me, so that's always um, pleasing, but I was hoping to get a few more, but their legs died out pretty quick. Uh, it was good to see the boys push themselves up to 20 and that, and uh, I think their earlier group before us got to about 20.1, 20.6, so they had a little bit on us there. Well, the, the, uh, the top one today was uh, 20.1 done by uh, Stephen, sorry, 20.6 done by Stephen O'Keefe. Uh, and uh, Michael Clark with, at uh, 20.1, which I think is a, a great effort given, uh, <laughs> given the amount of cricket that he's, uh, he's had recently. Um, and without a great deal of time to put towards the conditioning side of things, it's, it's, it's really pleasing to see. Uh, a couple of surprise packets, I must admit, uh, we've seen in the, uh, the yo-yo testing that we've, we've, we've done already. Clint, Clint McKay's done uh, very well, and Marcus North also. Most flexible? Oh, definitely Shane Watson. He's, uh, he's hypermobile, he's uh, range of motions. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's pretty good and his attention to detail with, his, with the type of stuff that he does with yoga and Pilates is um, probably attributes to it as well. Uh, Mike Hussig has a pretty good reputation in around it. Uh, in terms of application towards his skills, um, uh, definitely the captain. He leads a lot by example uh, in terms of the, the, the training that we do. Um, and I guess just through the nature of the, the, the fast bowlers generally have quite a high work ethic um, simply because of the demands that they put themselves. Uh, put themselves under physically, so they, they generally have a pretty, uh, pretty high work ethic.